Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a prison server for 1.8. So on my first video I ever made on how to make a prison server um, for 1.8, some of you guys couldn't understand me how to make a prison server for 1.8. So I made a update video on how to do it, and some of you guys were still not uh, still not understanding on how to um, how to make a prison server. So this video is an update update or whatever you want to call it. Um, but this is just um, another video on how to make a prison server because all my other videos some of you guys are like um please uh do an uh another video what's up uh make sure uh we can hear you clearly um which this video i'm gonna be trying uh to do my best to on this video so let's go ahead and into the video before this video gets you more long one thing i noticed about plot me was they discontinued their support for plot me but there are fixing bugs on the plot square now plot squared um when you're online and you add someone to your plot on the plot that you have but once once you're offline on the that plot and you're not online on the server they cannot uh build on that plot unless if you do slash p uh face trust face the player's name so we're gonna go ahead and install the uh plot square instead of the actual plot although the plot me is better but the um this will prevent uh um, from other people building that you don't want so this is pretty good as well all the links that you can download will be in the description all right guys so once you're done downloading all the plugins and the craft bucket um on the craft bucket you only need to do one thing because if, if you leave it where it's at and you try starting it it's not gonna work unless if you rename it to just craft bucket and it, everything will should all right now we're gonna go ahead and create a new folder so we're gonna go ahead and right click new and then folder from there we can rename it whatever you want I'm just gonna do prison server and then after that just go ahead and uh, drag the crap bucket into that folder go ahead and copy this code right here link will be down below for the uh, website to get the code or you can type it in that's fine and um, let's go to the prison server right click go to new and then a uh, text document and then we're gonna go ahead and open it paste that go to file and go to I uh, save as I mean and we're gonna do run dot bat and then we can do uh, where it says save as type do uh, all files then save and then we can go ahead and X out now uh, if you guys are cracked and you guys are not premium on some of you you can change this to false which I'm gonna do to mine and then we can go ahead and X out and then save and then after that we can run it all right so now once everything loads you need to uh, press any key and this file will pull up you need to click on and then you need to click you need to go to this false and you need to change it to true or else uh, your server won't run and go ahead and save it and just hit that run button again Okay, now once the CMD has um, finished, go ahead and just type stop. Once that is done, you can go ahead and put in the plugins that you downloaded, wherever you have it, and store it on your computer. Well, not store it, I mean wherever you have it. Then we can go out and we can run the server again, or we can um, edit the server.properties. That's what I'm going to do. So we're going to go ahead and edit with Notepad++. Um, remember, all these links will be down below. Download each one, and you should be good to go. Alright, go ahead and open up the notepad with that uh, server.properties thing. And we're going to go ahead and, edit, I mean, edit some through things. So for a prison server, this player achievements, we need to change this to false. We did not want uh, to see uh, players uh, achievements, what they got, which that is annoying to some players. Um, on other prison servers I have been to, they always have it disabled. Some servers have it enabled, and I don't really like those servers anymore. So just change it to defaults and people love your server. Well, we don't have to edit the online mode because um, in the little uh, run here, we can right click and edit. Now, if you want it to premium, you can go ahead and put it true. If you want it to crack, you need faults. So um, 
we don't have to change the online mode. Um, command block, you can enable it if you want to. I'm going to enable mine. I'm going to leave mine at 20 for the players, uh, which how many people can join your server. And if you put like uh, 2,000 or more, that will crash your game. What I recommend is putting 300 players or 200, depending on the RAM you have like uh, that can handle that so unless if you have a really good computer then you can put like a thousand if you like uh spawn monsters that is like really annoying but usually they still spawn in which you can do command called slash game mode and um, game rule space do monster spawn or no do mob spawn i mean uh stuff like that and now this one where it says a minecraft server we can change it to say say like you want to name like a random server there we go so we can do like a random server or you can do a name that you like uh for your server um how to uh do the ip well we can come down to the little start menu which windows 7 you will have a little start menu that pops up and then you can come to the start menu windows 8.1 and windows 8 you can come up to the little side up here and there should be like a little search bar and windows 10 you can come down here to the cortana and you can type um, cmd and we can do ip kong Big. From there, we can scroll up. Um, where where you see is um IP IPv4 address. Now this is gonna be your IP over here. Okay, so now once you get your IP, just go ahead and save and then X out, and then you can X out again. But anyway, um, you can um run the server. Now once you run the server, you can go to plugins and the folders will pull up, which that's what you will need to edit these plugins. All right, now once those um folders uh has loaded into the plugins folder um, we're gonna go ahead and edit them so first we're gonna go ahead and do the centrals and then after that uh, the universe uh, core alrighty so we're gonna go ahead and go to the config right click go to edit with notepad plus plus scroll down a bit until you see the max nick I mean nick link so I'm gonna set this to 90 because um, you can have like a colorful name like a long colorful name so I, I recommend for you guys to set yours as 90 Teleport cooldown and teleport de uh, delay. Um, I'm gonna set these. I'm gonna set the delay for four and the cooldown for one, because cooldown. Uh, if if you keep uh doing uh slash tp or or cetera or or slash home, if you keep spamming it, there's a cooldown. So you have to wait for a couple uh one second or how many seconds you have did or a minute. Um, which that. Uh, for the delay, uh, when you teleport to a player, it'll, it'll, uh, it will, uh, say, um, please wait four seconds or one second to teleport to that player. But anyway, guys, you can try this, um, which I like to keep it where this is all at. And also, you can do the same thing as I do. Uh, let's move on to, uh, the kits. You can, uh, change the kit by their, uh, by the thing. If you go to Minecraft, uh, IDs list, um, you can go ahead and Rene uh, change all this and uh, yeah and they will get that kit that's a uh, certain kind of kit and if you want it enchanted you got to do like this uh, infancy I think that's what it's called but anyway uh, whatever uh, this is all the enchantments for the D tools which you can also do for the actual tools now if you run or rename the the slash kick tools when you do slash kick tools to get these tools I mean get the kit that that you made um, and if you want to rename it you can go to the tools and you can rename it and uh, for them to have permission to do that, um, that, that you want them to type, do slash kit, blah, blah, blah like, like slash kit, space, a, uh, or something like that, wherever you want to name it. I will show you at the last of, uh, this centrals. All right, so this one's the important one. So the per, per, I mean, per war permission, you need to change this to true. Now, why? Um, in the permissions where you want them to go, like the A, B, C, D, or whatever, um, alphabet, or whatever rank you want them to go to, to. Um, this is um, a handy one uh, per war permission. You need to keep it true, which it will give them that one permission that you want them to go to for that war. Um, if I'm saying that. All right. So the last thing is the the kit thing. So we're gonna go scroll all the way to the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Here's the kit. We can change the name that that you named the kit up there. That's how the, they get that permission. So we're gonna go ahead and save it and X out and everything like that. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and go to universal core I, I go here and we're gonna go to Kong fig 
and then we're going to edit with a notepad plus plus now why do we have to edit in here well once you uh, say something in chat some people get annoying by it so it will say um, the world that um, you are in like you create a world which this is great for the minds um, which that which um, when you type something in that world it will say like world uh, if the two brackets on the side and then it will say your name and then what and then you type it and everything like that which that gets really annoying so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that so I'm gonna change the prefix chat to false and then we can go ahead and save it and X out of there alright now we're gonna go ahead and edit the group manager so we're gonna go ahead and open up the group manager folder to the worlds and the world and then it'll say groups uh, dot yml so we're gonna go ahead and right click Notepad++, plus plus. just going to open it from there, and then here we are. So, um, in here it says groups, and it says default. We can change this to member, so that's what I'm going to do, some member. Um, and then we can do the permissions, which I'm going to do that in the next video. Please hit that like button if you guys want me to get that video out sooner for you guys, uh, so I can show you guys how to set it up uh, inside the actual game. I'm not going to be doing it in this video, because this video is going to be long as it is. So, there will be a part two, maybe. Alright, so, I'm going to come down to the owner um, this has all permissions it has vanish and the all permissions um, I recommend not giving no one owner only yourself because uh, you don't know what they're gonna do with the owner prefix and stuff like that so we're gonna go ahead and go down here to the prefix and I'm gonna do owner so I'm gonna do the two brackets on the side um, so that oh oops I don't know why I did that but anyway I'm gonna be editing it um, just like this I'm gonna be doing six and then from there like five I guess I don't really know so I'm gonna do six again and this and I'm just gonna do seven actually now I'm gonna do B okay did I did nope I did not did the mem member okay I'm gonna leave where everything where it's at and uh, yeah in my next video I'm gonna be showing you guys about the prefix I mean the permissions in in the group manager so let's go ahead and save it and X out and everything like that all right guys I hope this video helped you out um, if you enjoyed it please hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button please hit that like button and also subscribe that really helps me out a lot and it, when you do I'll make a part two sooner so please hit that like button and, and also subscribe subscribe to action film studios for helping me make an intro for my channel he also does awesome videos on his channel please go check him out and subscribe to him all right guys see you in the next video goodbye